praise God hallelujah amen amen uh, today is the 24th day of August 2023 I blessed God for his goodness and mercy uh, to us and uh, I'm here to respond to um, questions I received um, somebody was asking about uh, the first creation of God the first human that God created and there's this uh, debate that God uh, Adam and Eve uh, they are not the first that God created they were not the first that God created that God created some folks before Adam and Eve and the person wrote that uh, um, he has been enjoying the ministry and how we dig deep into the scriptures to expose some things to their understanding and wants to know my input what I think if Adam and Eve if they were the first that God created so I'm going to answer that very briefly because the answer is very simple amen I'm, I'm going to answer it very very briefly and very simple and uh, but before I do so, I want to let you know we've started the fundraising campaign, and uh, um, my apologies because I've not re we've not really done what we're supposed to do. I came we came back yesterday from uh, a beautiful trip we had, and we just came back a medical um, staycation. So I thank God we got back yesterday, and we don't want any. Uh, donations made through the website yet we want everything to go through GoFundMe because like I promised we want to make sure we give you the stewardship those that donated for the church um, empowerment the church building and elevation we want to do to a particular church the Resurrection Church in Uganda so we want you to, to have detailed breakdown of the donors and where the money will go for then on the last day of the donation we will open our website and every money we receive through the website any form of donation received to the website we will channel it to that project to the glory of god so for right now please uh we don't want to advertise payment on the website the, sh the video clip says go to uh, the website to donate please don't make use of the website go to the good fund me and i'm gonna be pasting the good fund me link on this video on this video so that you can click or type in and make your donation hallelujah we have to do something for the church of god we have to the bible says iron sharpened iron we have to help these people of god they are doing great and we don't we know that things are hard but um, it's more blessed to give than to receive they really need our help and i trust god what we are raising we are raising thirty eight thousand hundred and twenty five dollars and we are just realizing on a little bit under two hundred dollars right now amen i love such baby steps you know a lot of our big donors have not made their donations yet and a lot of our beautiful donors uh, no donation is small they have not also made their donations yet so we are looking up to you and we trust god that you will not let him down we are not asking you to feed us we are asking you to fulfill that thing jesus will ask you when you when you saw those poor and you helped them those you saw me hungry and you and you fed me and you asked lord when did i see you hungry say so when you you know those beggars you met on the street and you fed them you know you would definitely you are de you were definitely feeding me so please i want you to uh, um, do this don't wait till you have enough i always give when i don't even have because it's more blessed to give than to receive so thank you so much for your generosity and we will definitely hit that target amen that church will be built the church will be built the land we we will secure the land and we're not gonna we're gonna build a, a, a good place of worship for the children of god amen hallelujah so right now when i get to that question the first man that god created just some said no it can't be adam and the question why the person said it can't be adam because um when adam and eve begat uh, their two sons um, one was mother the Cain and Abel right so one was murdered and uh, Cain murdered Abel 
and uh, he was driven out of uh, out of the garden. So says, and the the guy got married to who? <laughs> the question is like, to who did the guy get married to? They they produce children to who? You know. So um, I always tell you, pray when you read the Bible that you don't get mislead. Yeah, it came at a point in the Bible that that uh, Job was asking God question. He was so mad, and God 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 got so pissed. God said, "Listen, boy, where were you when the foundations of this earth was laid?" And Job was like, "What?" So this earth had a foundation. God said, "Where were you?" God was asking him. So where were you? And that also reminds me of what happened to uh, to little Jeremiah when when you know he was made a king and. The people were trying to manipulate him, you know, to do the things, their biddings. They're trying to influence him. Just the way they influenced, uh, uh, what's his name again? The King Saul. You know, King Saul was influenced. He wanted to please people. He wanted to say things that people want to hear. Like many pastors today are not trying to rewrite the scripture so that, because they don't understand a lot of things. But I'm going to answer that question you asked because by the help of the Holy Spirit, the answer is simple. Amen. So, and God asked Jeremiah, Say, little Jeremiah, before you were born, I knew you. Before you were formed in your mother's womb. But God did not tell him how he was formed. But God said, before you were formed, I knew you. Now, the answer you, you seek is very simple. I'm going to take you to Deuteronomy. The answer is in Deuteronomy. The answer you ask, who were the first? You got confused. The Bible made you to understand that Adam was the first. In creation, God said Adam was the first. He made the woman for Adam as a companion and you're asking who was the first so the bible could yeah you said the bible was uh, redacted no it wasn't let's go to deuteronomy deuteronomy 29 are you there i love to read from new king james version i love jesus now let's read together if you if you're not there i'm gonna wait if you're there just just give me a heart you know the love sign hey i'm there i'm gonna wait let's do this like like children of god amen i know if you don't know deuteronomy you can flip 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 you hit the throne of me. Amen, amen, amen. I, I, I believe you are there. If you need to get there, you can pause this message, get to the throne of me. For some, some of you that are eager to read, to get this answer, this, they've been seeking for. Are you excited just the way I am? Thank you, Holy Spirit. If you can just say, thank you, Holy Spirit. If you can type it, if you can't type it, just say it within yourself. Say, thank you, Holy Spirit, for this revelation. Amen. You are there. Let's do it. Deuteronomy 29. Deuteronomy 29, chapter 29, verse 29. Very simple. See what, see, what, see what the Bible says. It says, For the secret things belong to, our, belong to the Lord our God. I repeat, the secret things belong to the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may do all things, that we may do all all the words of his law. Secret things. He has not revealed them yet. Amen. So you can see the answer. The ones he revealed to you. He just wants you to know. God doesn't want to tell you how devil was cast down from heaven with those demons. God did not tell you. You would have asked me. God did not. In, during the genealogy of creation, God did not say, "Oh, devil!" On the before the first day, devil was cast down with some demons. No, God did not say that. Those demons became humans. Those demons became uh, what you call uh, as uh, uh, what do you call those things again? Those creatures. Those demonic creatures. Okay, let me not bore you because I just want to hit this message straight and stop it. The first humans that God created. We are Adam and Eve. About how the son of Adam and Eve um, multiplied is a secret that God kept. When you get to heaven, when you get to him, say, hey, daddy, explain this to me. What's the secret? And God is a sweet storyteller. I, I bet you he's going to share that story with you. So God is waiting for us when we get and have a family meeting. He will have. He has a lot of stories to share. So don't get bored. Don't get. Don't deceive. You don't waste your time trying to figure out how God was created and how who how God became God. God bless you. Amen.